Hello, I am Anthony, and today we are commemorating one of the famous novelists, literal critics, and scholars, Ralph Waldo Ellison. Ralph Ellison was born on March 1st, 1914 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and he died on April 16th, 1994 in New York City, New York, from pancreatic cancer. Ralph Ellison was known for his work, Invisible Man, which he won 1953 National Book Award for fiction novels. The book Invisible Man is one about himself or his former years. He published only two collections of essays and they were Shadows and Acts and Going to the Territory. He lectured widely to black culture, folklore, and writings and he taught as at many colleges and universities. Hi, I'm Riley, and today in room 308, I'm talking about the Montgomery Bus Boycott. The Montgomery Bus Boycott started on December 5th, 1955. It was a protest against se racial segregation. This was a big part of the Civil Rights Movement. Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat in front of a white man. After this incident, she was sent to jail. She was later bailed out by a local civil rights leader. Even though she wasn't the only African American to refuse the, the local civil rights leaders, took action on her arrest. They tried to challenge segregation laws. The boycott was successful. <laughs> Local ministers created the MIA, Montgomery Improvement Association, to try and boycott the segregation laws. Martin Luther King was elected leader to the MIA. He was new to the area and little enemies, so it was a perfect fit. The MIA, to try to help the situation, they asked for a first come, first serve for the seats on the bus. They also asked that African American bus drivers be hired for the routes primarily made of the Ameri African American riders. They failed to meet these requirements because of King's house was bombed and many boycotters were threatened or fired from their jobs. The boycott went on for more than a year. It was a successful boycott, but they didn't get everything they wanted.